Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, back with another SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z action figure review. Today, as you can see, we'll be having a look at Gotenks. And this is a figure that kind of went back and forth on whether I was going to get it or not. I mostly picked it up because GameStop took pre-orders on them and I was able to just stop in every couple weeks and throw $10 or so on it and then pick it up. But now that I actually have it in hand, I'm pretty glad I got it. But there's the front of the box where you can clearly see most of the figure and its accessories through the front in that window style packaging. You also have some cool panels here on the side. Picture of the figure on this side in black and white with a smirk on its face. Whoosh. Some pictures of the figure on the back showing off some of its optional parts and some poses you can get it in. This side just says Super Saiyan Gotenks. There is the front again, so I'll take a second and get this figure and all of its accessories out of the box and we'll have a closer look at it all. Okay, he's out of packaging and to the top of his hair he stands about five and a quarter inches tall. And for his accessories, you actually get some pretty fun stuff. You get this head sculpt where he looks worried. He has the little sweat bead on his forehead. Pretty nice head sculpt. You get this head sculpt where he can be laughing or screaming. You get a couple peace sign hands. You get this grabbing hand and this one, which is more like a karate pose hand. You get this sprawled out hand and then this pointing finger which would be good for the galactic donut. You also get a Tamashi stage, comes with the clasp, and it actually comes with two of the arms to go in it. You also get this arm with the stand, and that is actually to hold the galactic donut. Fits in there really nice and firm, holds it really good. And my favorite accessory of all is the Super Kamikaze Ghost Attack Ghost. This is almost like getting two figures in one. Really dig this little guy. This may be one of my favorite parts of the whole figure. Okay, and I didn't feel like taking a bunch of my figures off of the shelf, then having to strategically put them back in there later. So here he is compared with all my other Dragon Ball Z figures. Okay, so that's all for his accessories and my lazy comparison. Now on to the figure itself. I really like this figure. I liked the character from the show. The Cell Saga and Boo was probably one of my favorite sagas. This figure though, it is kind of just a plain figure. Not a whole lot going on with the actual design of the figure itself. Just has these grayish pants. I do like the gray with this aqua green collar. He has that navy blue vest. But instead of making this the skin tone, like the rest of the figure, this whole centerpiece is actually blue and then they painted the flesh collar over the blue and you can see it bleeding through in a lot of spots. I don't know how well it's coming through on camera, but in person you can definitely tell that that is blue under it because it is coming through in several spots. Kind of an odd move. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. There is a lot of hair on this figure. The figure's pretty small but he has a lot of hair on that head. Makes him kind of head heavy. The back of the figure, not much going on. Another issue I seem to be having is these face plates don't fit on very snug. They will fall off very easily. But on articulation on this Gotenks, his hair hits this collar. There goes his face again. But his hair hits this collar and his head won't look up very far at all. He looks down okay. That's not great, but, I mean, it's something, I guess. You can get some side-to-side -side pivot on it. These shoulder pads are connected to the arms, so you can move them in and out of the way as you articulate. But his shoulder is on a ball peg with a hinge. Can go up that far. Can rotate all the way around. That shoulder pad will move with it. You do get upper bicep swivel. The elbow, you can't quite get 90 degrees out of, so that's not real great. Wrists are pegged in and on a hinge, and those ball pegs and hinge look very small and fragile, so you're going to want to be careful with those. At the diaphragm, he can go back and forward a little bit there at the top. He also has a lower one, so using both of them, you can get forward and back pretty decent. At the hip, he will kick forward that much. 
kicks back really good. It does not drop down like a lot of the SH figure arts do, but he does have an upper thigh swivel, good double bend at the knee, some ankle pivot, and it will go forward, not very much, but it will go back a little, and he does have toe articulation. So some of the articulation could be better, some of it is top notch, but I don't think you'll have a problem getting the poses you want out of him. But I'm gonna take a minute now, swap out some accessories, and we will wrap this review up. Okay, so there's the SHF Gotenks all posed up with his Galactic Donut and his Super Kamikaze Ghost Attack going. And this figure is a case of the accessories being the difference between this being a kind of boring figure and being a really fun figure. The accessories on this one really make the figure. I absolutely love the little ghost. The Galactic Donut with the stand to put it on is really cool. So I actually really dig the figure, really glad I got it. And how I have it here is exactly how I will have it on my shelf. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.